Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to go over some information about Zion Oil and Gas, ticker symbol ZNOG, and their annual shareholder meeting coming up on Wednesday, June 5th, 2024. So, for those of you who have been around, you know what this is about. For those of you who have not been around, this is something that happens once a year, typically in June for Zion Oil and Gas. Uh, they're going to send out a proxy vote for all shareholders. You'll get an email in. Uh, in the email from the brokerage firm that you're invested through with Zion and Gas. So, for example, you may get it through Charles Schwab, you may get it through Fidelity, you may get it through whoever, okay, that you're invested through Zion and Gas with. And you simply just click on that link. Um, and then they're going to have several topics for you to read through and vote on. And you can cast your vote, okay? You can cast it online, which is the easiest form of voting. Or you can do it over the phone as well. If you don't get this email until late or you just uh, forget, they always open it up for a few minutes the day of the annual shareholder meeting. Okay. Um, if you cannot watch the annual shareholder meeting or listen in, just know that I will, as always, make an update video where I recap the entire thing. So this thing typically lasts about an hour to an hour and a half, uh, but I condense it down to about anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes. For those of you who have not seen that before, if you want to look at one that I've made in the past, upper right hand corner, it should be popping up. You can just kind of run through that and see, uh, just to kind of give you a heads up. So it, typically I'll release it the day of on June 5th. Uh, if something happens, you know, I'm not available then June 6th on that Thursday, you'll get it. But typically I'll do it that night. I'll go and watch it, take notes, and then I'll just condense it down. That way everyone can go and watch a shorter condensed version and get all the uh, the key points and the highlights okay so what I want to do now is I want to just go through what's on the proxy vote and then from there we'll look at what it's done in the past and um, talk about what may happen for this annual shareholder meeting as well of course it's always unpredictable but we'll talk a little bit about that so basically they're asking you to re-elect some of these board members and everything that they have they're in recommendation for of course and on the board uh, Kent Siegel, Sarah Cagle, Javier Mazin, Jeffer, Jeffrey Moskowitz and of course John Brown and then the second one is to ratify the appointment of their uh, public accounting firm is basically saying that that accounting firm will be their accounting firm <laughs> for the rest of uh, for another year and then they also would like to increase the outstanding uh, shares from 38 million to 58 million and this has to do with they would like to um, get more shares so they can reward basically their board members as one of their forms of compensation but just keep in mind that uh, basically they're diluting everyone else's shares because they're issuing more to the open public so just keep that in mind when you vote as well pretty sure all this is going to go through it always does I've never seen anything that doesn't go through um, so anyway so you just you can either vote for against abstain and then uh, you just kind of go from there okay so what I want to do now is look at a couple of years ago for the annual shareholder meeting what happened specifically in 2022 so back in 2022 is typically basically around the same time uh, we were currently you know we had got up to about 18 or 20 cents all the way down from like 11 and then we fell down and then all of a sudden we started gaining traction around April okay and which is what we are now we're a little bit further along in April right now and back at that time we were at about 14 cents and you know right now we're about half of that uh, but we really started gaining some momentum around uh, the 14 cent mark and it was really because of the annual shareholder meeting was coming up and people thought that they were going to announce that they found oil <laughs> okay so it just went kind of crazy it started going up fell down a little bit going up fell down and then all of a sudden we hit a big spike from um, from 22 cents all the way up to about 42 and a half 43 and then of course John Brown came on the air and screwed everything up and then those of you who have been in the company for long enough you, you remember this day <laughs> where it just fell all the way down to like 16 cents, 15 cents. It popped up and then sold down again. And it, it 
kind of settled roughly around 20. Pop its head back up at 30. And then we've basically been in a longer term downtrend ever since. Okay. One thing to keep in mind before this annual shareholder meeting, if we can make this happen, if we can push, it, it seems like we're going to hold support at about seven to eight cents, hopefully. But if we can start gaining some momentum and push up to about the 10 to 11 cent mark, then we should cross over uh, like I've showed you before. Uh, and we should have that golden cross breakout indicator to where we should get some momentum and the price should rise before. The thing to keep in mind and be cautious of, however, is if we start rising like a lot before the annual shareholder meeting, if people are kind of doing the same thing and basically buy the rumor, okay, in anticipation, which is typically what Zion does, um, then you can almost not guarantee, but it's a pretty high chance that you can see a a dump before the annual shareholder meeting or during unless they release anything and I can tell you they're probably not going to release any type of big information regarding the company on the annual shareholder meeting they're going to tell you their plans they're going to tell you what they've been doing stuff like that they're not going to come out and say hey by the way we just finished all that we got the completion of everything we got X amount of barrels of oil um, but they can't release anything to us and not release it to the public. So you're going to see some type of mass public update. Um, however, they could talk about general type stuff. The cool thing about the annual shareholder meeting, if you're in there live, you can ask questions and they'll, you know, they'll, they'll answer to the best of their ability. However, they can't speculate anything. You're not going to get too much detailed information out of them. Uh, unfortunately <laughs> so uh, just keep that in mind whenever you're asking your questions uh, so you know just continue to watch the stop continue to pray uh, for Israel just in general uh, speaking of which praying I want to show you a YouTube channel it's fairly new uh, it's one of our followers that have started a YouTube channel so um, they have daily devotionals that come out and uh, they only have two so far but this is something good to start your day and they're very short um, to where anyone can listen to this and not you know, you have, you've listened in for, you know, about a minute or so, and it's a good way to start the day. So take a look at this YouTube channel. Uh, so go ahead, and, and I'm going to link it in the description below. And go ahead and uh, subscribe to that channel if you'd like some daily devotionals. Uh, so far, only two videos. Like I said, they're fairly new, a couple of days old. Uh, 30 subscribers. Okay, so I'd like to pump that up for them and uh, get that up to, you know, definitely over 100 easily by this video. And you don't have to turn on notifications if you don't like to, but it helped this person out growing their channel just like you guys helped mine. Um, so I'm subscribed to it, absolutely, and I've listened to their first couple of videos. It's pretty good, uh, but I'll link it in the description below. Make sure that you subscribe to them. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Let me know your comments below. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next one.